Tonka Ali has been a popular supplement for some time now, but recently it's exploded in popularity. Dr. Andrew Huberman contributed to this popularity spike when he spoke about Tonka Ali recently on the Joe Rogan podcast, where he mentions the effect that it has on testosterone levels. Here's a clip. Work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Not, you know, 300, you know, not a tripling or anything like that. And the main ones are two substances. One is called Tongat Ali. Oh, yeah. Which that is, stuff's real, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he makes mention that supplementation with Tongat Ali can lead to a rise in testosterone levels by 100 to 200 points. And perhaps more so when taken synergistically with Fidogia agrestis, which, by the way, I talk about in more depth in a separate video on our channel. But because Dr. Huberman doesn't reference any specific studies, it's hard for us to relate what was said in the Joe Rogan podcast back to any published papers that can then be investigated further for accuracy, reliability, and a deeper understanding of the study parameters and results. So in this video, I want to dig deeper into the actual published studies around Tonka Ali to clarify exactly what the scientifically confirmed benefits of Tonka Ali are. The first study I found was titled Review on a Traditional Herbal Medicine, Uricoma Longifolia Jack, Tonka Ali, Its Traditional Uses, Chemistry, Evidence-Based Pharmacology and Toxicology and it was from 2016. Now, this is a review rather than a study, which means it's an analysis of a bunch of prior studies and reviews to try to establish consistent patterns in results. So in effect, they're an amalgamation of different studies rolled into one. This particular review broke Tonka Ali's main proven benefits down into several categories, starting with its main effects on male fertility enhancement. The review noted the standardized extract F2 of E. longifolia, the technical name for Tonka Ali, and its major quasinoids, especially Eurocomanone, improved rat spermatogenesis by affecting the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. Eurycominone, the major quasinoid in the E. longifolia root extract, also significantly increased testosterone production in a dose-dependent manner. It enhanced testosterone steroidogenesis at the rat testicular Leydig cells by inhibiting aromatase conversion of testosterone to estrogen. So this review seems to confirm what Dr. Huberman mentioned regarding Tonka Ali's effects on testosterone levels. The review also noted a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled parallel group study that was conducted to investigate the aphrodisiac clinical evidence of E. longifolia extract in men. This 12-week study in 109 men between the ages of 30 and 55 divided in a group of participants treated with 300 milligrams of water extract of E. longifolia, which in this study was a trademarked Feister variation, and then a placebo group. The E. longifolia group showed higher scores in the overall erectile function domain, sexual libido, and seminal fluid analysis with sperm motility up 44.4% and semen volume up 18.2% after treatment. Another major benefit category covered by the review is Tonka Ali's potential anti-cancer effects or cytotoxicity. The review noted a study conducted by Tong, that's T-O-N-G, not the Tong, and others where they investigated the in vitro and in vivo anti-cancer activities of a standardized quasinoid mixture, SQ40, from E. longifolia on LNCAP human prostate cancer cells and showed that it induced selective cytotoxicity on human prostate cancer cells and inhibited the growth of LNCAP cells. SQ40 downregulated the expression levels of G1 to S phase transition regulatory proteins, cyclin D1, CDK4 and CDK2, and upregulated cyclin inhibitor protein, which subsequently led to cell cycle arrest in the G0 to G1 phase. The anti-tumorigenic activity of SQ40 was successfully demonstrated in the mouse xenograft model. Additionally, scientists Hajuli and others concluded that E. longifolia constituents, uricominone and uricominol, are the regulators of signaling pathways involved in proliferation, cell death and inflammation. Both uricominone and uricominol inhibited JERCAT and K562 cell viability and proliferation without affecting healthy cells. Furthermore, uricominone inhibited NFKB signaling pathway through inhibition of IKBA phosphorylation and upstream MAPK mitogen activated protein kinase signaling. The review also noted Tonka Ali's anti anxiety effects, noting that in humans, 
effects of E. longifolia hot water extract was screened for stress hormones and mood state in 63 subjects, that's 32 men and 31 women, for moderate stress, with placebo for four weeks, and indicates that daily supplementation with E. longifolia extract improves stress hormone profile and certain mood state parameters. The anti-anxiety effect of various fractions of E. longifolia was also investigated in mice using various behavioural tests, including the Open Field Emotional State Test, Elevated Plus Maze, Anxiolytic and Anxiogenic Drug Effects, and Anti-Fighting Test. The E. longifolia anxiolytic effect was similar to that of the positive control diazepam. Other benefits noted by this review were potential anti-diabetic effects, osteoporosis prevention, anti-ulcer effects, and anti-rheumatoid effects. So as you can see, Tonka Ali has many potential benefits alongside the more commonly discussed benefits of increased testosterone. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to also hit the bell symbol once you've subscribed, so you can be alerted for any new health and wellness videos that we post. Thanks for watching.